this is really poor lighting. Um, and this is another video brought to you by the floor in my mom's house. I don't really know why I'm making this video, but I just wanted to kind of like talk about a couple things that are going on and about to happen. And also, so like for the last 10 months, I've been collecting like stickers and stuff, you know, from different places that I've been. And this is my suitcase that I just traveled to Spain with. And now that I actually have access to my suitcase, I'm going to put some of the stickers on there. I don't really know where to start about like what life is going to be for me for the next, like, I don't really know what's going to happen basically. So you guys know, if you're new to my channel, I'm Chelsea. I travel full time out of a 21 foot camper trailer with my dog Banks across America, but I usually have a travel buddy with me. And my most recent travel buddy, Bean, as you guys know, she left a couple weeks ago to go back to LA to her hometown, which was fine because I was going to Spain, but I was only in Spain for a week and now I'm back. So <clears throat> I'm ready to be back on the road again. And like, I'm here in my hometown at my mom's house and just kind of feel like it's time to go again, you know? But also I'm kind of confused because November and December are like the holiday months, you know, there's Thanksgiving and then there's Christmas and New Year's and Halloween's around the corner. So I'm about to like, these are the times that you're supposed to like spend with your family. As a couple of you guys know, my Mimi and my Papa that were here, um, that I used to spend every Thanksgiving with like passed away this year, which means that like, it's going to be my first year without them. It's not a great suitcase to put stickers on because there's like ridges, but I'm just going to do my best. I have my dad here and my grandma on my dad's side. I don't know if we're doing anything for the holidays. We haven't really talked about it. And then my mom is going to be out of the country for Thanksgiving. So, and I don't have a travel buddy. So I was thinking maybe I should go down to like Florida, um, <clears throat> which is where my godparents are, and maybe spend Thanksgiving with them. You know, I've been talking to Bean about whether or not she can come back, and there's been a couple hiccups with that. Like, I guess maybe she won't be able to come back um, as soon as we want her to. Like, she might have to wait until early December. Which, like, I totally understand. Like, she has, like, life to handle, you know? So, I'm not upset about that at all. It's just, but, like, therefore, I need to figure out what to do with my life. And I really don't know. Because there's this one, um, this isn't gonna stay. I can already tell. There's this campground that I was at in Philadelphia, which I loved. And they invited me back to the campground to stay with them um like at a discounted rate um if I you know talk about their campground and like what they offer or whatever which is really cool because I know someone's gonna talk shit about me for saying that and say oh you're selling out or whatever it's like dude I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't have to justify myself with this. It's like there's a campground that I really love and want to stay at and then they like having me there and we can do this exchange and someone's gonna, someone's gonna give me shit for it. I feel like this is gonna be like a little rambly video and this is like the first one that I've ever done like this but <clears throat> I feel like no matter how like pure my intentions are with my channel and how much like I've said in live streams and stuff, like, I don't take sponsored video opportunities and stuff if I don't, like, actually endorse and believe in a product, you know? And, like, I've never done a sponsored video before. I've never had some type of, like, deal with a product or anything like that. Realistically, this is really all I have to rely on right now to, like, keep me moving because... You know, if I pick up freelance jobs here and there, that's great and that's awesome and I love to do that, but 
it, I still want to be able to save money and I still want to be able to like go to places and do like extra activities. Like what if, you know, I don't know, like what if I want to rent a kayak somewhere or whatever? Like I still need the means to do these things. And so like, I feel like if I go and stay at a campground somewhere at a discounted rate to save some money, someone's gonna tell me that I'm my channel is no longer genuine or something and that sucks that I have to like worry about that but I think that like the majority of you guys like you know my heart and you know my intentions I'm gonna show you all these stickers when I'm done putting them on but they're not gonna look <laughs> really good I'm realizing because of the ridges but whatever I'll do what I can this is one of my favorite stickers this one is from Moab Utah which is one of my favorite places I've been so far in Arches National Park. Um, that was when Dylan and I were traveling together and that was such a cool place to explore. Sorry the camera's gonna move right now. My camera's on my bed and I'm sitting on the floor and Banks is adjusting herself. This is one of my favorite nas national parks. One of my favorite places I visited. I've got like so many good memories on the road, but I like also remember having like issues at this point in my travel i've never said this on my channel or whatever but like and i'm not like bashing anybody but like it's hard to live in such a small space with somebody if your personality is like clash at all and dylan and i at this point in our trip when we got to utah we were having some issues figuring out how to work together you know i love these stickers man I'm really happy that I still have these. Like, it's really cool to look back at these and then, like, think about what I did in that place. Like, this one's Zion. Zion, which is also in Utah, but in the southwest corner. This was a really small national park, but this was one of... Oh my god, Utah is just so beautiful, I'm realizing. Zion was gorgeous, and I really want to go back there because... I only got to spend like 24 hours there, not even, and it was so hot the time of year that I went. I think it was like July, yeah, it was July, and it was so hot there. It was like a hundred and something degrees, and I'm really sensitive to heat, as you guys know, and I couldn't explore as much as I want to, but I would love to go back like this time of year and go down the canyons to the narrows and stuff. I got this Yellowstone pack of stickers and I'll have to save this for some, something else. But if you want this wolf sticker from Yellowstone National Park, just like um, pay for your postage and I'll send this to you. I think, I feel like I have to lay this down. Wish I could like play music right now while I'm hanging out and just talking to you guys, but I'll get like a copyright claim or something. So anyway, my point is, is like, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do over the winter or until Bean comes back or something. My favorite time to explore is in the winter just because like um, you don't get overheated and like it's off season so all the campgrounds are cheaper. But then the downside is, is that like some places you can't access because it's too cold or like snowy or something and then some parts of like certain parks like will close down for the season. I guess I'll do this Yosemite one. I've officially been to Yosemite twice now, once with Dylan and once with Bean. This is one of the most beautiful places. I keep saying that because literally all national parks, that's the point, is that they, they've they conserved them because they're one of the most beautiful places in America. So I need to stop saying that's one of the most beautiful places because, duh. Well, I'm getting excited about these. Okay, now I've got this other one that I'm gonna put next to Yellowstone. This is a redwood national forest god it's so beautiful so okay so another thing that's been happening to me lately is that because i went from the united states to spain and back to the united states in one week um my sleep schedule is insane it's right now it's 6 36 in the morning so i've been sleeping for like three hours a day and it's usually from like 12 to 3 or 12 to 4 in the afternoon. Does anyone want this sticker? Redwoods? It's a humpback whale. 
Anyway, so my sleep schedule has been crazy. And so today what I did, or yesterday technically, I guess today is Sunday technically, but yesterday, Saturday, I slept as long as I could. Late in the day, I woke up at 10 p.m. Um, last night. So I've only been awake for like eight hours now. Um, and what I'm going to do is stay awake all day today so that I'm, by the time like 9 p.m. rolls around later, I'll be so tired and like ready to sleep. And then I'll sleep all night and then get my sleep schedule back on track. Two that look like this. I'll probably put this Lewis and Clark in the middle. And then I've got a Death Valley. I won't ever go back here, but it was really cool. <laughs> but I won't ever go back here. I do want to go back to this place, Crater Lake. It was in Oregon, and when I went, there was like 50 feet of snow on the ground, so we couldn't see anything, and we couldn't drive around the lake, and you couldn't see the lake. So I want to see that. Okay, what does it say? It says, between 1918 and 1940, 22 national parks produced, sim produced popular window stickers as proof of admission. We added another 23... Um, to, so that you can collect all 45. Oh, this is supposed to be put on a car. I ruin everything. This is the same thing. It's supposed to be put on a car, but here I am about to put it on my suitcase. This is from Sequoia National Park in California, which is right underneath Yosemite and right by Kings Canyon National Park. I didn't get to go to Kings Canyon because it was closed for the season, but Sequoia, oh my god. I don't know if you watched my video from Sequoia National Park, but you should. This is where the widest tree in the world is located. It's called the General Sherman. And this tree, like the base of it, it's not the tallest in the world, but it's the widest. And the base of this tree was, oh my, it was, it was huge. Okay, this is what the sticker looks like. And then let me read to you about it. Between May... 1804 and September 1806, 31 men, one woman, and a baby traveled from the plains of the Midwest to the shores of the Pacific Ocean. They called themselves the Corps of Discovery. In their search for water, for a water route to the Pacific Ocean, they opened a window into the West for the young United States. Wait, is this two? This is two stickers, y'all. Look, I have this big one that I'm going to put on, and then this is a sticker too, Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail. If any of you guys want this one. Let me know. One left, and this is Death Valley National Park. So Death Valley is, I don't know if it's the hottest place on earth or just the hottest place in America. I'm not sure. They don't lie. I was there in winter and it was like 103 degrees and there's like no like life there. What is this one? Okay, wait, I can read to you about Yellowstone. America's first national park. Really? Wow. It's in Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. Preserved within Yellowstone National Park are Old Faithful and a collection of the world's most extraordinary geysers, hot springs, and the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. I wish I didn't cut this right here so I could know all these other facts. Redwood National Park says, home of the world's tallest trees in the whole world, okay? Um, they can exceed heights of 370 feet tall, standing taller than the Statue of Liberty. From sea level to 3,200 feet in elevation in the coast range, a mild, moist climate assures the parks an abundant diversity of wildlife. Elusive to visitors, many mammals, birds, amphibians, and insects live in the mature redwood forest. They depend on it for food and for shelter. It says the diversity of life is protected for you and future generations. Okay, Yosemite. The sticker here says, This world-famous national park, nearly 1,200 square miles in size, is amazingly varied in its scenery, wildlife, and plant life. Several unique locations, each, each spectacular in its own right, combine to create this national treasure. They include Yosemite Valley, Wawona, Hetch Hetchery, or Hetch Hetchy, Glacier Point, Tuolumon Meadows? I don't know how to pronounce this. I'll show it to you in a second. The Mariposa Grove of Big Trees. Well, I don't know how to pronounce this word. Right here. Wait a minute. This is another sticker right here. Yo, 
If anyone wants this one, let me know. I'm glad I'm looking back over this because I would have straight up thrown those away. Zion. This one. I love the sticker. Zion. Protected within Zion. Wait, this is a sticker too, you guys. Oh my god. Tell me if you want a Zion one. Um, Zion National Park. Protected within Zion National Park's 232 square miles is a spectacular cliff and canyon landscape and wilderness found nowhere else on Earth. With its elevation gradient of over 5,000 feet, Zion National Park is also home to a huge variety of plants and animals. These had facts on them too, but of course, popped through them. Here's my suitcase. Lake Powell, USA. Borders Arizona and Utah. Canyonlands, which is right next to Arches National Park in Moab, Utah. Glacier National Park, which is in Tana. This is where Brooke and I's car broke down and we had to hitchhike and we went paddle boarding in glacier water. Beautiful place. Zion, I just read about Yosemite, Yellowstone, Redwoods. Crater Lake, I talked about Lewis and Clark and Sequoia, where General Sherman is. And then Death Valley, which I'll never go to again. I need to get more stickers. Those aren't all the places that I've been, but I guess it's the only places that I got stickers from because stickers are kind of expensive, unfortunately. Anyway, I've got some more stuff to send out to people through my Patreon account. If you pledge a certain amount, I send you gifts. So they usually come in packages like this. And I got a couple things saved here to mail out. Ooh, I've got this really cool patch from Death Valley. It's an iron-on patch. I gotta put this on something, maybe. It's the hottest place on Earth. It says 134 degrees Fahrenheit or 57 degrees Celsius. That's that. My camera's getting too hot, so I have to start record stop recording overheating cameras. Anyway, that's everything. I just gotta figure out what I'm doing. Maybe go to Savannah, Georgia and stay for a month and like maybe get a job there. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Anyway, there's my update. I love you. Sorry, this is like a really long-winded chatty video, but I just wanted to get some of that stuff out there. By the way, no, I did not cut all my hair off. It's in this little bun right here, but I did put some layers in it so I can make it look like it's short if I want it. Thank you for being here. Really humbled to have people that care about me. So thank you guys for that. And I'll see you uh, in the next video.